హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ డాక్టర్ అశోక్ కుమార్ టుడే వీఆర్ సీయింగ్ ఎ కేస్ ఆఫ్ నేసల్ టెరిజియం ఎక్సిషన్ విత్ కంజంగ్ టేబల్ ఆటోక్రాఫ్ట్ సో గోయింగ్ టు ద బేసిక్స్ ద మెయిన్ కాజ్ ఆఫ్ టెరిజియం ఈజ్ ద ల్యాక్ ఆఫ్ లింబల్ స్టెమ్ సెల్స్ సో దీస్ లింబల్ స్టెమ్ సెల్స్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ యాక్టివ్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ ఇన్ సఫిషియంట్ క్వాంటిటీ they prevent the occurrence of pterygium so what we are doing in actually autograft is we are actually transplanting the limbal stem cells from healthy limbus area so once after the pterygium is excised and the cornea is cleared of any residual pterygium the bare area is mildly cauterized so any unnecessary oozing of blood from the blood vessels is prevented then marking of the host area is done once the marking is done with the use of a crescent blade small incisions are given care should be taken not to make our incision deep so that the underlying tenons is also incised so we need to take care that only conjunctiva is incised and while passing a venous blade for blunt dissection under the conjunctiva we should see our venous blades which is an indirect sign that we are not dissecting any of the tenons because conjunctiva is relatively transparent so once the blunt dissection of conjunctiva is over will be removing the conjunctiva and once the conjunctiva is incised we make sure that it is incised till the limbus and a part of limbal stem cells are included in our graft so we need to once again make sure that the tenons and the conjunctiva is totally separated without any adhesions and once we are sure that it has been separated we need to separate our host area that is our graft near the limbus and the main objective is to involve certain limbal stem cells so once it is properly separated it is separated from the limbus and we need to make sure that the limbus side of the graft should always face the limbus side of the nasal pterygium which which we have extracted so the bare area limbus should be overlapped by the graft's limbal stem cells so this direction is very much important now we also should make sure that the host area is not having any bleeding vessels cautery is generally not necessary but if needed a mild cautery can also be done at the host area also now we are placing the graft over the bare sclera we are just ironing with instruments so that it is properly spread over and all the margins are overlapped so once it is taken care that it is properly aligned we once check for any hemostasis near the host and the graft area once everything is all set in place now we come to the next step which is sclerocorneal contact lens here the lens which i am using is marketed with a brand name called Terigo so once it is placed on the cornea we take the help of our assistant and we evenly spread it so that the host area the graft area all are properly covered we also need to take care that the it is not being disturbed by the eyelid margin so that it can't be removed we also need to take proper precaution while removing the eye speculum because even while removing the eye speculum this contact lens can be removed 
and another thing if a small amount of air bubbles are present even after the removal of speculum we ask the patient to blink once or twice this is the post op one week picture of the eye here here is the graft area and here is the host area the contact lens is removed after one week thank you for watching